Hello everyone, I'm Mei Tang from A Crane, and uh, today we want to continue talk about the eight best way to store your tea. Bamboo, my favorite actually. A um, lot of people I know out there, all of you love bamboo. Uh, if you love tea, I bet you love bamboo, and that's really my favorite material to talk about today, and that's really my favorite way. Unfortunately, I only have two. I wish I owned more. Um, this is what I found from an um, antique market in China. That is a piece of antique, but, uh, but that's a good uh, way to start storing tea, because bamboo is natural products. Some, some friends or customer ask me, what is the difference between bamboo and wood? What, 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 how about wood? Well, yes, no. To me, I suggested to use bamboo other than wood is because wood, normally they don't use one piece of wood to make a box or container, okay? Unless you're gonna use one big giant wood like this and you carved it and into a, some kind of big hole or making a shape like this, Guess how much is that cost? It's gonna be cost your fortune. Second is if the wood they have to make the wood using mostly glue to make the wood a container, or sometimes they use the dovetail, I think a dovetail style to make the wood container, but still you have to use the glue. And that's not as good as bamboo as a one giant giant piece. The wood has to be so many pieces, you know, go with it. And the, the next factor I want to mention is wood is um, when you treat wood making, from natural wood making a product, you have to treat it, kill tree, kill, kill dry. The kill dry is not get you 100% the whatever the uh, composition contains inside the wood out of it. They, the best that they can get is 80%. Why? They don't want to get wood 100% dry and crisp, and you can make products, any furniture, anything anymore. So uh, they have to maintain, I want to say, between 12 to 16 percent moisture in, in the wood, and bamboo you don't have to. And uh, so that moisture can have their own original, natural um, uh, elements inside the wood. I really don't think for long term, they turn, 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 it's, it's, it's good for your tea. So, therefore, I'm using that to support myself that I, my favorite is bamboo, that this is the best choice and you don't go through a lot of productions. That means that glue or so many pieces go together. And this is the one piece and, um, and hard to find. No, it's not that hard. I have two, but you can get it from a lot of markets so far that uh, a supermarket, a grocery store like Bristol Farm, Whole Food, they, they make a lot of bamboo material uh, for, for chopping boy, go to that section and there's a certain kind of containers with the lid, again, has to be really tight, very tight, watch, and you can get, uh, get it open. And then I suggested to use some kind of lining, a foil lining as well, put it inside, but if you don't like that, that's perfectly fine. Bamboo is the one I heard that is the material, the, the nature, the plant with no heart. Okay, you can interpret it, no heart is a bad thing. I think no heart is a good thing is the angle I look at it, they are the one so um, so proud, they don't care about the little nine, little tiny things, they, they show all their loves, you know, that's what another way interpreted people have. Heartless is they because they have a good heart for other things, so they have no heart to worry about the bad thing. I think the bamboo, whole body of the bamboo, is the leaves you can use as a tea, the body, the, the shoots like this, you can use for anything. They're just purest material in the world, I believe. So, thank you very much, and come back for the next material I'm gonna talk about. Thank you.